Hi everyone, I'm Coach Arjun from SCORE Campus and I will be going through a PSLE problem question that some of my students have been asking me. So let's get into it. Now this is a question that will most likely, there's a very high chance it will come up in the PSLE. So it is essential that if you're a kid, you understand this. If you're a parent, make sure that your kid understands this. All right, so yeah. There were some kids in the classroom. Um, they shared an equal number of sweets equal, uh, amongst them. When each kid got 11 sweets, they were short of three sweets. When each kid was given eight sweets, they had 30 sweets left over. And the question is, find the total number of sweets they had. Now, again, this is a question that you would see in most prelim papers, most PSLE papers. So again, very important that you, your child understands how to do this. Firstly, under, uh, um, how to recognize this question? Very easy. There were, a certain num there were a certain number of things. They were shared amongst a certain number of people. And when they got a certain number X, they had some short. And a certain number Y, they had some extra. So they, you need to find, well, the total number of suites or total number of people, right? So first thing you need to do is, uh, again, this is a step-by-step -step approach. Take 11 suites minus 8 suites. First step. Now, second step, short of 3 suites, 30 suites left over. Add 33. Now, play with these two. 33 divided by 3 equals to 11. What is this? The number of children. Number of kids, right? And then the next step, given that you have the number of kids, you can use uh, any of the information. You can use when each kid was given 8, they have 30 left over, right? So, if you had 11 children, 11 times 8 equals to 88. 88 plus 30 equals to 118. This is number of suites. Alright, so here, this step over here is your basic steps. You need to know these three steps and then everything is solved. Okay, I'll be going through one more example. Now, again, very similar example with a small variation, which if your child does not understand and only memorizes the step, he will get lost or she will get lost. So let me go through this. The format of the question is the same. There were some adults in a workshop. They said this shared an equal number of cookies amongst them. Uh, when each adult got 15 cookies, and this is the variation over here, the last adult got only 10 cookies. I hope you can see the variation. I'll be explaining you uh, this in a while. When each adult was given 13 cookies, they had 13 cookies left over. What is the total number of cookies they had? So now again, do you see what is the change? Here, instead of saying that there were some cookies short, they said how many cookies the last person got. So you have to interpret yourself. What is the number of cookies in the short? So let's do this, right? So if, if each adult got 15 cookies, the last one only got 10 cookies, that means they were five short, right? Oops, there's no S. There were five short. So remember the first step we said, the short plus leftover which will mean here will be 5 plus 13 right 5 from here 13 from here equals to 18 next thing you can do is oh i i mixed up the steps a bit the next thing you can do is 15 minus 13 right this is the difference in the previous video, I, in the previous slide, I had done these two steps. Yeah, I mean, it, that's fine. You can, you can do it either or. Difference is equals to 15 minus 13 equals to 2. 
So now, this step here, you take, must relate these two, right? So 18 divided by 2 equals to 9. And so this means that there were 9 adults. So now how to find the number of cookies? Let's use this statement. 9 times 15 equals to um, 135. 135, because you are short of 5, minus 5 equals to 130. Now let's just say you chose to use this statement. You realize you get a, you get the same answer. So 9 adults times 13 equals to 90 plus 27, 117. 117, because you have 13 left over, plus 13 equals to 130. You get the same answer. All right? So again, go ahead, go through this, take some time, um, go through these questions a few times, and you should, your child should be able to understand how to solve them. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you. I'm, again, from SCORE Campus. If you have got any other questions, given that the exams are coming, do take some time and post them on our Facebook page. Um, just take a screenshot and post it up and we will try and solve them within one working day. Uh, of course, if we have too many questions, we might take some time. So I hope you understand that. We will help you with English, Math and Science from Primary 1 all the way to Secondary 5. So yeah, have fun and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.